I'm here with Ashley at the Wait Is Over Fashion Show, which she did a wonderful job putting together, y'all. I just can't begin to explain, so I'm gonna let her tell you the juicy details. Uh -uh. Okay, so with the name of the Wait Is Over, mm -hmm. what made you come up with that concept? Well, I wanted to have a plus size fashion show that catered to uh, plus size women. Um, a lot of the fashion shows that they have here in the city and surrounding areas, areas are, you know, models that they consider size three or five, but I just wanted people to know that, you know, you can have plus size fashion and the wait is over, you know, so W-E-I-G-H-T. Yes, I love that concept. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I was definitely like blown away, like from start to finish. Thank you. It was so great. Thank like you. I couldn't even do, do my job. I was the videographer, <laughs> but I couldn't even like focus on oh. like recording because I was so caught up into the fashion. Your models were great. The the clothing, the brand and everything was great. So can you tell me about like the process? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we put a lot into it. We try to reach out to um, this year for the hairstyling. We use the Institute of Beauty, which is a natural hair school. It's the first um, hair school to open up in Tennessee. So we use them. And um, as far as the makeup, we reach out to, uh, you know, some of the artists, the artists here in Memphis. Okay. And um, they come out and do makeup for the models. Yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that being said, what inspired you? Well, I, I used to be a um, plus size model. Um, but unfortunately, the selections for designers did not cater to me, so I would go to casting calls, and they wouldn't yes, have so. any clothes to fit me. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. And so I said, you know, after countless um, disappointments, I decided to open up my own and sell my own clothes and have my own fashion shows. Okay, so I know your um, the name of your brand is Dean of Fashion. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit about that? Well, my, my name is Ashley Dean. Okay. Um, I just got married, so now it's, a well, it's been about three years now. Um, but I'm actually Ashley Dean Parson. I really believe on the play of words because I believe that when you catch people's attention is, is easy to remember. Um, so I'm really big on a flashy, catchy name. Okay, so with the outcome of the show, do you feel like it met your expectations? It definitely met, met my expectations, but you know, I'm gonna always wanna do bigger and better. Um, so next year, they're gonna be in for a real treat. Yes, if, if this year was this great, I'm definitely tuning in next year. <laughs> I'm definitely tuning in. So how did you go about um, finding your designers? Well, um, there, one of the designers that I used is Ayani Couture. Job, She's based out of New York. Um, I've actually been following her designs for quite some time. And um, I actually got a chance to actually see them in New York Fashion Week and I was blown away. And so I wanted her to be a part because her, her pieces, they are just, phenomenal for the four-figure woman. Um, uh, the quality is really good. Um, the patterns and the colors that she used, um, they're different. It's bold, it's daring, and it's just not what you really would see four-figure women wear, and I really wanted to have her as a part of my show. And this was a big tribute to the big girl. Oh, yes, it yes, it is. It definitely was. Mm -hmm. It was not a petite model on their runway, and I was it like I was in tunnel vision, like I was <laughs> focused or whatever. So that's that's great that you really set that out and set that platform out yeah. for the big girls. Mm -hmm. And they also have a place to come, your shop location. Yes. Well, your shop that you have is mm -hmm. catered to big girls. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, well, well it's, plus size, yeah, I'm sorry. Plus, it's okay. <laughs> plus size, full figure, you know, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but um, we're located at 5963 Summer Avenue. Um, that's at the cross street of Summer and Sycamore View. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Okay, so yeah. what what other things do you offer besides Dean of Fashion? Mm -hmm. Well, we actually, is Dean of Fashion Glam Teak. So we offer hair, nail, and makeup services. All so in one? It's an all-in-one location. Ooh. So you can buy clothes and get your hair, nails, and makeup done. So you can get pampered all in one. one all in one. One-stop one shop. One-stop shop. Okay, you are definitely doing great things. Thank you. Can you tell me any projects that you have coming up? Well, you know, to be honest with you, this is all I can do. <laughs> I used to have a four-figure fever pageant that I do. I probably would do that. Um, but for right now, the only thing I'm going to take on is this weight is over fashion show. Okay, so what inspired you? 
Um, anything, any person, what inspired you to be great? Not even just to start your, your brand because you, you know, it was limited plus size mm -hmm. clothes, but what inspired well, you one from of my, the beginning? One of my fashion icons is actually, well, in the retail industry, is Kamora Lee Simmons. Okay, yes. I really I'm look up to her. her. Uh -huh. I look up to her because... Uh, when it was during that time frame when I had struggles of finding stylish plus size clothes, she came out with baby fat. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just, just, I loved her brand and how she changed from urban chic to um, chic wear and club wear and, you know, fitted bodycon dresses and dresses that cater to the curves. And, you know, she was married, she was an entrepreneur, and she had kids, she ran a retail company and that is who i you know get my inspiration from all right well i love your brand Thank you inspired you so me today was great can you give the people your social media on how to contact yes. you about pieces yes um i can be reached at dina fashion on instagram dina fashion on twitter dina fashion one on snapchat facebook of course is dina fashion and i think that's all my social media i can't do no more all right, continue to be great, and I wish you the best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the Style Center. I'm your host, Asha Fierce, and I am here today with Tina Shanae. How are you doing today? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. So we're here to talk about your, your boutique. So with your boutique, how long have you had this boutique? I started my boutique last year around September, so it's coming up on my first year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So can you tell me, like, what is that experience for you, like, with your clients and as far as, like, being a businesswoman running a boutique? Uh, it has been trying. It's very challenging at times. You have those times where you want to quit because, of course, I'm new and I'm just now getting my name out there. So it's kind of hard to have people buy from you because they don't know from you. So you have those times where you want to quit, but then you have those times where you make a sale and you actually, you feel, I don't know, like, very happy. Girl, <laughs> like, you're very happy and it makes you want to do more, but it is, it's challenging because you have to stay on top of it since it's fashion. You have to keep buying stuff even if your last product doesn't sell. So I have lots of inventory. I have, uh, I, I house my own inventory. So everything's at my house. Everything's available that's on my site unless it says otherwise. Okay, so with your trying times, what is your inspiration? What inspires you to keep going when you feel like giving up? Well, actually, I started it because of my sister. My sister passed last year, and a couple of years ago, we talked about the idea of a boutique, but I told her no. And when she passed last year, I was just like, why not? You know, you only live once, and just do it. So I just started it off. I'm bootstrapping is what the basic term would be, which means I'm I'm funding my company off of my own money. No loans, no grants, no help from anyone besides myself and personal, you know, people around me. So that is my inspiration. My sister was my inspiration. Oh, so she passed? She passed last year in July. Okay. I started the business. I started to buy things after that, and then I launched, I launched the website. So September. Do, so do you feel like that, like, well, I know you're doing it, you know, because of your sister, but also, like, does that give you, does it have a sentimental re or um, sentimental meaning? Because, you know, when your sister, she told you about it, it's like, no, nah, but, you know, when she passed, it's just like, hey, I will do this, you know, because my sister kind of insisted. And then also, like, doing it for yourself to branch out also. Yes, I did want my own business in the beginning. I thought about it before she passed, and I was like, oh, I don't really know because the money, you know, tied up. I have school. I have kids. I won't have any time for it. Okay. And after she passed, that did give me a little push. It did give me more motivation to do it for her, and I do also love fashion. Okay. So with that being said, I want to get the name of your brand. What is the name of your boutique? Renee's Armoire, which is Armoire is a bureau, basically. It's like a closet or, you know. Okay, so what grabs your attention with fashion? Like, what, what made you want to step into fashion? When I was younger, I didn't have a lot of opportunity to kind of get what I wanted and to dress how I wanted. I didn't have a sense of style. 
So it was like, oh, that's pink. Let me grab that. Oh, that's orange. Let me grab that. Let me put it together. And it was like, what is that? So <laughs> I never had a sense of fashion until I got older. That's why I love fashion, because now looking at different people, different models, say Rihanna, for instance, or Beyonce, you know, you look at their styles and you kind of want to experiment with yours. And that's yeah. why I love it. OK, so with that, so you were basically being risky with that, like stepping into fashion. So what would you say? How did your style start and how has it developed from then and now? My style started tacky. <laughs> I was very tacky, threw anything together. And when I was younger, my mom would never want to buy me clothing because I was so tall or my legs were so long. So she would buy me something. It would fit this week, but the next week it wouldn't. So I was never really. <laughs> yes. Of being tall, honestly. It would always fit this way, but never that the way. The width, but never the height. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, so I was never really trendy. And then when I got old enough to buy my own clothing and experiment with my style, it gradually got better with, okay, maybe I want to do a tomboy look. So I tried the tomboy thing. Well, maybe I want to do a chic look. I'll do the chic thing. But now it's just, it's more of how I feel. I okay. dress according to how I feel. I don't really go off of trends because, like, it may not be me. I can definitely relate because, like, however I'm feeling, like, People ask me, like, how did you create this outfit? How did you create the outfit? Well, I tell them, like, I go in my closet and I never put anything back. No matter if the if the patterns, if the patterns don't match or the color don't match, I like throwing a lot of things together. So it just depends on how I feel, you know, that day. So, okay. Well, with your style, where it is right now, um, how do you incorporate that into your boutique? Like, what kind of styles do you have? More fitting, more flowy? I just got into more fitting because okay. even though I'm not into trends, I figured that's what sells because a lot of people are now, in, you know, they're into the bodycon dresses and the fitted yes. things. That's not necessarily my style all the time, unless I'm going out. On a regular day-to-day -day basis, I'm wearing, I'm comfortable. You know, I don't go out in heels all the time, so... I would have to say I just started to basically kind of branch over to more more fitting. It was pretty much relaxed at first, and it's not always about my opinion. I get my input. I get inputs from my friends about things that I may want to sell. They'll tell me yay or nay or okay. if it's hot or if it's not. A support system. Yes, I have actually I a group me. That. I have a group Ooh. me going on. Okay, so question. Do you have a team or is it just you, like, your friends are just there when you need them, like, you know, or yeah. do you have a team? Like, do they help style and? When I need them to. Okay. I don't necessarily have a team, although I am looking for one, um, but I'm not able to pay anybody right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> just but, throw that out, yeah, you know, volunteer but, service. I don't, I don't have the money to pay <laughs> anybody to have a consistent team, but I would definitely love one. So at the moment, I have the group me where I have about, I have three friends on there. I'll throw a couple outfits out and it even has it's gotten to the point of where I've given them my password to where I buy my clothes from and I'll be like, hey, I'm looking for summer clothes. And they'll go in and they'll put all the stuff in my favorites. Then I'll probably weave it out like, uh, no, Girl, you have uh, a solid no. team though. <laughs> like if you give now passwords and just like do, do it. Like, and let me know what's up. So yeah, yeah you really have a solid team. Thank well, you. even though you don't have a official team, but you have a solid team because your friends are, you know, behind you. Well, I try to stay with the, around the same people. It's not like I try, I see a new person. I'm like, hey, you want to be in the team? Girl, hey, I of have course to, not. Right. You know, Got to be a tight bond right. there. <laughs> yeah. Is most definitely so like tell me what would be your three favorite outfits that you have now your three favorite pieces oh my gosh my three favorite pieces one would be the skirt that you're wearing which is the unbothered skirt okay and we'll talk more about that in the next segment and then let's see there is this new dress that's coming out it's called the ooh la la dress it's mm -hmm. fitting, it's long sleeve, so it's perfect for autumn. And it has like a split over here. It's not too revealing, but it's like just enough. 
Okay, is that available yet? Because I'm, that sounds interesting. Or is it coming? It is coming. Okay. It'll be here in about another two weeks. Okay. And then there's this laid out, this is laid back skirt. It's called the uh, Love and Peace skirt. It's very boho, kind of my style, but chic also. And you can just match it with a crop top, or if you want to do a blazer with it, you can kind of fit it your own way. And that's basically what my boutique is about. It's about providing you pieces that you can put together your way. I'm not here to tell you how to dress because I think fashion fades. Style is forever. Like that's you, that's your personal thing. And also they have a free flow to do whatever they want with it because you have an online boutique. So it's, you're not, they're not coming in, you're not, piecing a shirt and a skirt or the dress together they just go on your online boutique and find what what they like yes ma'am on my website i do piece some things together with the option to buy i don't have anything in sets unless it's really sold in a set um, i have had people ask me to style them though okay all right well we'll take a break and we'll be back soon with the style center Welcome back to the Style Center, and I'm still here with Tina Shanae. Yeah. And we're about to put her in her element to tell us about the pieces that she has in her online boutique. So first, we'll start with me. Can you tell them what I have on today? Well, right now you have on the unbothered skirt, which has the pockets in it. It is very chic to me. It's long and flowy, it has an underskirt, so you can't really see all your leg. You're kind of like giving a little sneak peek of your leg. I love the pockets on it. It Ooh, has the leather. The yes, the yes, weird. you have pockets. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> have the pockets <laughs> on it, which gives you kind of like a relaxed feel when you have on, you know, you don't know, have, know what to do with your hands. I so feel just, like that's a prize. Yes. Because, girl, I love like pockets on skirts. Like it just gives me life. <laughs> yes, you have your band. So just in case you, you know, gain a couple pounds, you get a couple thick, you get a little thick. Girl, you, you yes. stretch it out a little okay. bit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you thought about that because, you know, the thickness is real around I'm here. I'm trying so. to get thick myself. Girl, we, <laughs> we, we in there. So, okay, with this skirt, what made you choose this? Like, to me, the pattern stands out, but what stands out to, um, what, else, what stands out with this skirt for you? What stands out is the pattern, of course, and the fact that it had pockets was definitely a plus. It was long, it's black, can't go wrong with a little black, and then it's really... I'll say it's going into the season because everybody's in the patterns now and then it's also beginning to be fall so it's not too short although that it means not short at all even though it has that under layer skirt in there to not show all your skin it's very fitting for the season it is it's very fitting okay and the top I provided myself yes. so we'll have the first model all right can you tell me more about this piece this is the settled dress this is actually a bodycon dress. It's in mustard. I think I'm going to get it in uh, probably gray next if okay. it sells pretty well. It's just form fitting. It's really simple. I've had a lot of people request a simple bodycon dress from me. So this is exactly why I purchased this piece. It's long sleeved, perfect for the autumn. Not too hot because you have room to breathe in it. You use room like the material. Is it basically. I want to say that it's something else okay i don't really know right, right now <laughs> okay all right is there anything else you would like to say about this no all right thank you can we get our next model all right can you tell me about this piece yes this is the independent bodycon i love it because it reminds me of just a, a single woman going out to the club with her girls and that's why i call it the independent 
actress, I kind of name my pieces based off of how I see. Like what I look, what I when I look at them, it's like what does that say to me? Yeah. So that's why that's how I name my pieces. Okay. It gives a little, little body every now and then. You know, you have a little Sneaky. piece right here. Yeah. You have a piece right here. It's not showing too much. It's not re not that revealing. Long sleeves is black. Can't go wrong with black in the autumn. Can't or any any day. You really any can't. Day. Yeah. <laughs> any any time of the year, you cannot go wrong with black. Because this is a perfect. Just I don't know what to wear. And then it's perfect because you can throw a piece of jewelry on it if you wanted to. You can do a pop of color with the shoes if you wanted to. You, you definitely can, can wear this up or down like yes. daytime or nighttime. Yes, you can. All right. Well, thank you. All right. So we'll have our next model. Hi. All right. Now this is the abstract, abstract dress. This is the abstract dress. Um, I love the fabric on this. I catch myself every now and then when nobody's wearing it. I like rub my face against oh my the fabric. God. <laughs> because it feels so nice. It's very comfortable. Okay, I it see. I see. Comfortable. And if you're into twerking, this is probably the dress the to best. twerking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the back. The back is all out. So you can't wear Definitely a bra with this. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it because I don't, I don't It'll have the body take from for the dress, honestly. I don't, have have the, I don't have the body for this dress, but I like it. Um, there has the little rope thing up here where it's very scrunchy. It's popping if you got a butt, because you know it kind of lifts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, this, is, this is a club dress to me. This is something I would wear to the club if I were to go. All right, and it's called the abstract dress. Like, yes. that's the perfect name for that because I can you. definitely see why you call it that. So. All right, thank you. So, okay, with your dress selection, how do you go about picking that for your online boutique? I base it off, if I were to go to a club, what would I want to wear? Or depending on how I feel when I'm buying it, I'm like, would someone else buy that from me? Okay. If I go to the store, would I see that somewhere else? And sometimes I do end up seeing it at other boutiques, but not at the price that I provided for. Okay, I've seen so your prices are reasonable. My prices are very reasonable. Okay, good. I love a reasonable prices. Yes. Well, reasonable prices and good pieces. So mm -hmm. and great definitely. quality. Of yes, course. great quality. All right, so we're about to go to a break, and we'll be back with the third set. Stay tuned. South premier videography and photography company. We specialize in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your special events or business, L3 Media is the company for you. You can contact us at all of our social media sites. You can like us on Facebook, check out our website, follow us on Twitter, or always feel free to email us. We are L3 Media, your number one source for all your videography and photography needs. Give us a call today. Welcome back. We're back with more styles from Tina. So we'll have the first model to come in. All right, can you tell me about this piece? Yes, this is the Ariel Maxi Romper. It was more for spring and summer, but this is like my last one. I also have one in blue in a large. This is these are my last two. You have the romper, and I call it a maxi romper because it looks like a maxi dress, but if you actually look, and I'm not gonna be you have shorts underneath. Love that. It has the deep V neck, plunge neck, where you can, you know, show a little boobage. But it's I very love classy. That. The details, like everything about this, I'm loving. Yes, and you can even roll up the sleeves if you wanted to for it to be kind of like a quarter sleeve or so. You know. So mm -hmm. you can kind of do that if you wanted to. All right, and you are, you are wearing this, girl. Yes, it is beautiful on her. All right, well, thank you. We'll have our next model. Okay, can you tell me about this piece? This is the Carmen Long Vest. It is white or off-white or ivory, if you want to call it. Uh, if you turn around for me. Has the splits on it. Uh, I love the detail to it. It is very, like, business casual. I just matched it with this dress that I have. It also has pockets. 
with the dress uh, it's very fallish because of the purple and the blues in it the colors just give me a fall and for like a chill day like you can add this on like for business because of the you know just yes. the whole mood of that but this is so like i wear this on like a comfortable day like yes ma'am i would too most definitely all right and i love the color so thank you our last model All right, can you tell me about this? Yes, yeah, she has on the Karen jacket, which doesn't have pockets, but I just love the detail to it. The fact that it is a jacket and it has the uh, paisley print on it. And print, of course, is in. Uh, it's very tight and fitting, so it's very stylish. Low-key color blocking, too. Low-key color blocking. Yeah. It, she's, I've matched it with the uh, fit there called like a glove high waist pants i also offer these on my site okay so you can't go wrong with high waist make you look slim all right she always get the stuff that got you got your booty looking right <laughs> right <laughs> so like where where will you wear this to what 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 would this outfit this would be, be a casual more this would be a everyday look like i'm going to the store i just want to throw this on and most of some of my pieces are like that like this shirt that i have on i offer this at my boutique also okay everything's not very dressy um some things is just for a chill day because everybody doesn't dress up every day maybe you just want something to lay back in yes all right well thank you so with that collection i heard carmen a lot right yeah so like do you have a collection that you give like a certain name with no not necessarily i just i just name them okay so the i think the vest that she had on was actually the carmen long vest or i want to say it was the business woman vest but i do have they look alike they're okay. probably different colors okay all right well okay since that since you have an online boutique are your sizes like can you tell me the size range for your pieces sure thing my sizes range from small to 3x okay so petite and plus size correct so, all right being that you have an online boutique do you have a location where your clients can come and purchase no it's strictly online right now at www.shoprenaysarmore.com i do participate in a lot of pop-up shops and i post those on my social media once i have them and i'm pretty booked this september and october so you can catch them there okay so can you tell us your social social media sure thing i have instagram which is at renee's armoire boutique i have facebook my personal facebook is tina shanae business facebook is renee's armoire and then there's my Snapchat, which is new to this with a Z and <laughs> seven. All right. Well, thank you so much. I enjoyed doing this interview with you and thank good you. luck to your boutique. I enjoyed you too. You look wonderful in that trip. You look wonderful in that thank skirt. Thank you. And I love it. So thanks for watching the Style Center. Stay stylish.